guys, Jordan here from Vizcom, and today we're going to go over some brand new updates that we implemented inside the software that I think you guys will really like. And I'm just going to go over how you can import your sketch inside the software to essentially save yourself a lot of time on what normally would be hours inside of Photoshop. So just to get started, once you sign in, we're going to come over here and create a new file. And we'd love to hear your guys' feedback on all this. Every time we love we make these updates, we'd love to hear what you guys think and some things that you would like to see implemented into the software. Um, read the description for more information on that. So essentially, uh, whoops, move my window a bit, move this back. So now that we're inside of the software, uh, Brush Studio, Viscom, this is where the canvas exists, where you can actually render out your line drawings and import things. So I'm actually gonna come over to my uh, file finder, and I'm actually gonna import this line drawing by just dragging and dropping it onto the canvas. And now that we have this drawing onto the canvas, the next step here is to actually prompt and describe with a text description what it is that we want to render out here. So I want a car design concept by BMW, because that's what this is supposed to be. Mm. So you come over here to the right hand side, type exactly what it is you want, and then in just a few seconds, the AI will actually render out what it is that you were describing based on the line drawing. Now, this is a pretty good result. So what I'm going to do is actually add this to my canvas. And one thing that we actually changed from before is we separated creation and layers. These are now in two separate modes because or two different tabs because before you know we had this all on the sidebar and it was just really cluttered and a lot of things going on so now that we actually have our rendering on the canvas you can come over to layers you can turn this off and say you want to create more examples of this you can just click generate again and then we'll start actually seeing it you know give us the results that are just vastly different so i like the first one a lot better so i'm actually going to stick with this and then we're going to go to layers, turn this back on. And now I'm going to show you guys if you want to actually modify this to fit more of something maybe that you, you know, have more in mind, give you more authorship and how to actually modify some of the things the AI was thinking. So what we can do is actually, I'm going to come over here to layers, create a new layer, and then come over to creation mode. And now what we're going to do is go over to free draw. Now, free draws allows you to essentially draw over what the AI has come up with, what Viscom has made. And another thing you can do now that's different is actually change the brush size and width like before. Now it's no longer a slider and more so sort of something like you would see inside of a Photoshop. So we're gonna come in here and let's say I want these headlamps to be a lot bigger and I want them to more be like, let's say something like this. And then we can just do that, add the lights, and then let's also say, you know, I don't like the way that there's all this yellow in the front. So I'm going to change some of the brush settings and I'm actually going to just, yeah, whoops, color pick some of this and just kind of get all of this to get out. Okay. So now that we have something like this, we can actually send this back into the AI, or back into Viscom to generate us something that's based off of what we see on the canvas. And what we can do is actually change the influence of how much we want the drawing to impact the results or the prompt. So I'm gonna change that to 70% and click generate. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And just give it a few seconds. You'll see now it's starting to get more towards something that we actually want. And I'm actually going to add this to the canvas and you'll notice maybe it still has a little bit of a painterly style and actually kind of looks more like a charger. So I'm going to just send it back into the AI one more time after adding it to the canvas, just try to get a little bit more refinement. And you'll see here, it's actually starting to take into charge of what's going on in the front. And I'm going to add that to the canvas. And now we're starting to get a whole nother thing. So this is essentially how you can collaborate with the AI with drawing on the canvas and allowing the AI to kind of finish out some of your rough rendering. So I'm gonna kind of end the tutorial there and let you guys play with this yourselves. Would love to hear what you guys think and some changes you guys would like to see. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you found this useful and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial.